All right, we're getting ready to loosen the head bolts. There's ten of them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The book says to loosen the head bolts one quarter turn each in the reverse order of how you tighten them. So what I did was I looked in the book and I saw what the sequence was. Then I drew a picture and I got loosening head bolts and since this is the last one to get tightened this is the first one I will loosen then I'll go to number two three four five six seven eight nine ten you can see how it kind of does a weave thing so we'll do that you turn each one a quarter turn as you go around until they can be taken out by hand and then when you do that you have to label where you got these bolts from. Each one goes back where it came from if you're going to reuse them. I was reading and people suggested that you should go ahead and just change them out so I bought a set but I'm still going to label these so that I can compare them to the new ones and make sure I get the exact right one. I haven't looked in the box to see what's in there. I don't know what the differences are in the lengths, but I'm going to label them as they come out, what position they came out of, and then that way I know that I'll, I'll put the new ones in in the right spot. So after that, I'll probably be done for tonight, and that'll be the end of this uh, second part video. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get this head into... Um, the shop um see if I can do a valve job on it check everything out the springs and all that uh, if they can't I don't I can't really wait too long I gotta get this done but uh, I'm gonna start taking them out I'm about ready to eat too I forgot to mention the head bolts right there 15 millimeter is what we'll use to get those out using a breaker bar because I don't know how tight they're going to be. Alright, got the bolts out of the head. I'm ready to take it off. One thing I need to do, the rear uh, timing chain cover, I need that off. And typically, you have to take this, uh, I don't want to call it a pulley, it's for driving the timing chain take this off because um, it won't come off but when I was putting my water pump on down here I was trying to maneuver it I thought I could work without taking it off and I snapped it but it snapped in such a way that the two bolts here let's see here and there's one right here stayed attached so my timing mark stays in position but I got this crack here uh, so I don't have to take the whole thing off like you guys will if you're doing this. You have to take the whole thing off and then I think you got to take this this uh, whatever this is the camshaft drive belt I guess I'm not sure driver for the belt or whatever but uh, I won't be doing that part. I'm just going to take it off after I get these bolts. I got this piece that will go with it and then uh, that's a little bit less aggravation for me. There's a bracket on the right hand side between the battery and the head. It's, uh, just in here. There's a mounting bolt right there. It's hard to see. There it is. 10 millimeter. There's another one on the back side. And there's. There's a couple of electrical. There's a cam position sensor can you see that I'm trying to get the light for you guys that box right there the sensor plugs up into it cam position sensor and then there's a another sensor right there I'll unplug that one 
bolts into the head. Uh, I don't know what that one is, but I'll unplug them too. I'm going to take off that bracket and uh, I'll be able to pull the head out. Alright, before I can pull the head out, that hose goes right under where the thermostat goes. I got to take that off. And there's a little bolt way back there at the end of this rod, extension rod here, uh, holding. It's a welded bracket that's got some lines to it. I'm not sure if they're a AC or what they are, but it's a bracket that holds that on. So I gotta take that off, and then the head will lift up. That's what's stopping me right now.